But the Bible says that the word of God is powerful, living and active. I have, um, I have learned this over the years, that when you release the word of God like a lion unchained, you know when you take like a leopard and it is released from the mbuga ya wanyama and it is released into your ushago where there are goats, that leopard does not leave anything. When it is released like this into that pen, into that goat's pen, it finishes everything. I like to think of God's word like that. That when I release the word of God into my heart, unchained, unadulterated, just release the word of God in your house. That's why this word should always be on your lips. This command of God should always be in your mouth. You should speak it over your children, even when you don't see any changes happening. Because I want to assure you, it is as if something is working. You see, when you see those diggers or excavators trying to put down a building, they are just coming and touching the wall. It doesn't come with force. It doesn't look like anything is happening. But I want to assure you, because it's working using some hydraulic system, when it touches the impact that is shaken, the impact goes right into the foundation. Very soon that wall is going to come down. Such is the power of the word of God. Such is the power of the word when it is released into our lives. It comes forth with power and authority. Don't you worry that you're not seeing things. I want to assure you, if God has said his word must accomplish the purpose for which it was sent, you better believe that when the word is released into your life, it will do what he said it will do. You must come to a place of agreeing. It's just as simple as that. It's just the word of God is able to do much more than I am able to do. And so I will speak the word of God. I will release it into my children. I will release it into the nation of Kenya. Things might not look like things are happening, but release the word anyway. Please tell your neighbor, release the word.